a regular weekday morning in the English seaside town of Brighton. And at small batch coffee, the espressos are flown thick and fast. The bins, however, are already groaning under the weight of used coffee grounds. But John Coombs is a bin man with a difference. He works for the Espresso Mushroom Company, an enterprising new business in West Sussex. Twice a week, he cycles around town with a trailer, collecting used coffee grounds from up to 10 cafes. That's the equivalent of about 200 kilograms a week, or almost a tonne a month. The collected coffee grounds are taken to a farm, where they're used as compost to grow mushrooms. Every day, tons and tons and tons, hundreds of tons probably nationwide are being uh, being thrown straight into landfill. Uh, this is this is unnecessary, and in fact, it really is a waste because, as we've shown, this this is a resource. When a cup of coffee is made, less than one percent of the coffee beans end up in the cup, and yet the spent grounds are still packed full of nitrogen, sugars, and other nutrients which the mushrooms can make use of. Six kilos of used coffee grounds, the equivalent of about 100 shots of espresso, are mixed in bags with a handful of grain containing mushroom root. The bags are then numbered and dated and placed in a dark room. Within two weeks and after twice daily watering, the mushrooms are fully grown and ready to be harvested. Each bag typically yields between 150 and 200 grams of mushrooms and sometimes more. There are two kinds of environmental benefits in this process. The coffee waste is not going straight to landfill and it curbs the methane emissions, a major greenhouse gas that's produced when coffee degrades normally. Mushrooms are essentially nature's recyclers in, uh, in the outdoors. They break down organisms and matter and turn it back into nutrients for uh, other organisms to use. So in that sense, it's breaking down the coffee and then using it as a food for which to grow food for us. Here we see the mushrooms produced using this technique. Some final checks are necessary to ensure the mushrooms are in good condition. And then they are ready to be sent out to customers. Some of whom are curious about the taste because of the unusual growing process. Well, a lot of people ask, do they taste of coffee? Do they contain caffeine? Um, the fact is, um, the, the growing medium of the mushrooms does affect the flavour and also the freshness that you get when you grow your own mushrooms at home really gives it something that you just can't buy from the shop. The two brothers have been running the business for some years and with many companies and individuals worldwide using the same growing technique, in the future, more and more of the mushrooms we eat will come from coffee waste.